Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Hourglass Insights. I'm Stacy Harding. Say, this week I wanted to chat with you about an area of my life that I'm trying to get better at. Maybe you deal with it too, and that is the area of patience. You know, in this pursuit of life mastery, that's one of the areas that, uh, that I really continue to need to be better at. And so I started doing some research recently about what are some of the strategies when I start to feel frustrated that something didn't go the way I wanted it to, or perhaps uh, I was just inconvenienced because that's typically what causes me to get impatient. So I did a little research and I'm going to share some of the, the thoughts and, and ideas that I found. Uh, this particular information is from Everyday Health, and it was really seven tips for dealing with patients. I thought they were all really great. So the first one is to to tap into your emotions. And I got to thinking about this and oftentimes when I'm impatient, I can feel the stress or frustration coming up. And so I've learned a couple of things. One is I can stop and just become an observer. And so say something to myself like this, how interesting. And just instead of judging the situation, just notice it. The other thing I could ask myself is, I wonder why I got frustrated about this. And it kind of diffuses the whole thing. So, you know, I guess, again, tap into your emotions and notice them. The second is to reframe the experience. Obviously, we've all gone through those times where we're driving down the, the highway trying to get somewhere and we've got a, a large amount of traffic. And that can get frustrating, cause impatience, maybe in some stress. And if we can reframe that and say, OK, it is what it is. Um, being frustrated about it, it's not going to change it. So. Maybe I could use this time to listen to my favorite music, or maybe I can listen to a podcast I've been meaning to get to. So we just kind of reframe the inconvenience, so to speak. The third is we look at the bigger picture. You know, if I'm really trying to have a process in my life to have life, ma life mastery, being aware of the, the fact that patience can be an obstacle to that is just part of the bigger bigger picture. So I'm trying to improve my emotional intelligence. And so if I can have that in mind, perhaps I won't be as impatient. I think there's times where we can plan ahead. You know, if you see that you've got a really stressful day coming up, perhaps there's some plan in there where in between meetings or commitments, you can take a moment to kind of, I guess, release the, the pressure valve, let some steam out so that it's not so hard to get through the day. So plan ahead. There are some coping strategies. So I would say that there are a couple that I try. One is just a breathing exercise, and there's all kinds of information out on the the internet about how you can practice, you know, um, these breathing techniques that really only take a few minutes at the most, but can really calm everything down. So breathing exercises and then meditation. Uh, I don't know if you've personally done that or not. I started doing it about three or four years ago, and there's a great mobile app out there called Calm, C-A-L-M, and I'm just recommending it to you because I use it. And it is a way to really just take the stress out of the moment. So I'd encourage you to think about learning how to meditate if you don't. Tracking your progress. If it's really something that's important to you to get better at managing your patients, journal your failures and your wins. Uh, I think by just documenting that, it'll be much easier to see the progress and really understand when it didn't go so well, what caused that. So journal and keep track of it. And then finally, I think uh, just start small and stay committed. You know, perhaps the first way to measure it is you're at the grocery store and you think you've gotten in the fastest line, but it proves not to be. And so you end up spending more time there. If you can just maintain your patience and walk out the door and say, I did it. I didn't let uh, my impatience get in the way. It's it's a short thing and a small thing, but something to celebrate. So. I hope you'll join me on this journey of uh, life mastery and perhaps learning how to be more patient. I know I'm sure going to keep working at it. Thanks for listening and have a great day.